I'm Laura. I'm going to show you how to put together this paper plant cell. Purchase the plant cell printable from my Etsy shop at fanfron.etsy.com. Etsy will email you a link to the download which you can print immediately. You'll need two sheets of paper or cardstock for the cell wall, two more for the parts of the cell, and if you'd like to print the definition, you'll want a couple more pages. You'll also need scissors, tape, glue, and something to color with. Let's first create the cell wall. A rigid cell wall is unique to plant cells. Animal cells don't have one. Cut on the black dashed line and be sure to cut this little slit right here on both sides. I chose to use green cardstock for the cell wall. You can use paper as well and green's not necessary. It just evoked the idea of a plant for me. Start by folding in on the gray dotted lines closest to the center rectangle. If you line up the edges, it'll help you fold in a straight line. This piece right here, you'll fold right where the slits are that you cut. Then turn the piece over and fold on each of the gray dotted lines. You're folding backwards this time. Let's use glue and tape to put this together. I'm going to start by gluing the two sides together. So I'm putting glue on the longer or wider piece here. And then I'm going to put this one right on top of it. You can adjust the size of your plant cell a little bit. If you want it to be smaller, you can cover up more of this piece with this piece. And once the glue has dried, I can start putting it into its shape here. Now you have a choice for how you like to use these little tabs here. The easiest thing is just to wrap them around the outside and glue them right here by putting glue there. But if you want it to look a little bit neater, you can slide them in here like so and then put a little piece of tape on the edge. Do that for all four corners. Seems I didn't wait long enough for my glue to dry. I'll go back and fix that. And the last thing you're going to do is either glue or tape these flaps down. They're just going to help your cell keep its shape a little bit better. Now let's color the organelles, the parts inside of the cell. I've turned the page upside down. Because of the way you're going to fold them, this is right side up for the picture, though not the words. I'm coloring the chloroplasts. They conduct photosynthesis using a green pigment called chlorophyll. So I'm making sure that those are green. Many other parts of the cell aren't actually colored. Scientists use special dyes to see them under the microscope. So I'm going to pretend that mine are dyed and color them lots of fun bright colors so that I can see them better. Be sure to write your name on the title. You may want to color code your nucleus. Use the same color marker that you use to color each portion and underline the name for it or put a dot next to it. Aside from the title, the items on this page are bonus items. They don't necessarily occur in every type of plant cell, but if you've learned about them and you'd like to include them, they're there for you to use. 
cut out the parts of the cell by cutting on the black dashed line. When you get to the items that are hooked together in their picture, go ahead and just cut on the outside. We'll fold them first and then cut them apart. Fold backward on each of the gray dotted lines. When you finish folding the items that are joined together, you can go ahead and cut them apart. To make an organelle stand up within your cell, you'll put glue on the bottom tab and then glue it to the other bottom tab. You might find that pushing a marker or scissors in will help you press the two tabs together. Most of the organelles are glued into a triangle shape. The central vacuole is going to be more of a rectangle, so you've got a large tab to put glue on the bottom and then push that together like so. If you are using the label for the parts of the nucleus, Glue that on before you make the nucleus stand up. Glue the title to the front of your cell wall. This should go opposite the side that has the label for cell wall. All the labels you'll be able to see in the back as you turn your cell around. These are some of the bonus parts associated with the central vacuole. So if you wanted to use those and you haven't done so already, Go ahead and glue those on. Arrange the parts of the cell so the labels face the back. You can place them wherever you would like within the cell wall, but I do suggest you place them first to make sure you have enough space before you start gluing things down. When you are ready, grab your glue stick, put glue on the base of each part of the cell, and secure it into the cell wall. Remember to add in any extra labels that you might want to use. You're all done. Thanks for watching. If you're being graded, I hope you get an A plus in your project.